Hello everyone. Tonight I have an interesting video. Here we have a pit viper that I usually don't keep because I do not like when snakes with heat pits makes them much more dangerous. But this is a special snake. It's a Ruba Island rattlesnake. Crotolus Druesus unicolor and she is one of the lighter ones so I think she looks amazing what we will do is we will give her a frozen and toad mouse and try to feed her now this snake fed on lime mouse before it came to my hand and she didn't want to feed on frozen toad so I, what I'm doing is I'm actually using those heat pits for my advantage I uh, thaw the mice in very warm water, in fact hot water and then give it to her right away which she then senses the heat and thinks these animals are alive and she strikes and eats them so let's see if I can do this filming with my hand and then feeding with the other one all right all right the mouse was thawed in very warm water in fact in hot water and let's see if she's going to strike yep that was a strike I've probably missed most of it, sorry guys. I'm usually not good at filming without a tripod. But let's see. She's gonna... Stop looking at us. And go for the mouse. But as you guys seen, hopefully, you got a strike and when she strikes she usually eats in the meantime let me tell you a little bit about these snakes they come from one of the islands in Central America the Aruba Island and they are endemic there so they don't live anywhere else uh, this is probably the rarest rattlesnake in the world because of extreme habitat destruction and non-protection they are critically endangered in their native island oh that's a nice yawn I like that but um, at one point they were imported into Europe so we have some here now she's I think more interested in looking at us and try to protect herself than eating. So this might actually not work. But I will stay by a little longer to see if we can get a feeding shot of this beautiful snake. Now remember, we are using the heat pits to entice the animal, but also he is now sensing me, which is a huge heat signature, and she's also seeing me, and that make her that makes her a bit worried when it comes to feeding. 
So I'll stop here and then I'll try to catch her again when she's eating. Alright, okay, uh, the part of the footage that you guys watched uh, was two weeks ago. Unfortunately, this girl still doesn't want to eat in front of me. And I tried it this week as well. Uh, but no luck. So I could not film her feed. Right now, she is in that cocoa hut digesting the pinky that she ate probably at around 3 4 a.m. yesterday when I was deep asleep and we won't be able to watch her feed yet at least so <laughs> this turned out to be a fail video anyway thanks guys see you next week